More local coverage. This is Eyewitness News on WPRI 12. New at 6, an architectural treasure that's also easy on the environment. A local boat manufacturer is restoring a historic structure, adding a modern twist of energy efficiency. Gertz Composites Fiberglass Dome catches the eye and light and wind energies. From the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Highway to Susan Porter, Marilyn Scherer is live in Bristol. The legacy of a forward-thinking architect from the 1960s lives on here in Bristol. Now, the design you're about to see serves two purposes. It's artistic and functional. A historic restoration of famous engineer and architect Buckminster Fuller's Fly's Eye Dome is now complete and ready for unveiling. Eyewitness News got a sneak peek of the 24-foot wide and 18-foot high dome-like structure which was refinished at Gertz Boats in Bristol, producer of some of the world's most successful racing yachts. That's kind of fun being part of a museum team uh, to really uh, re-energize this and, and get it back into the public eye. Owner Eric Gertz headed up the three-month restoration project on behalf of the Buckminster Fuller Institute, which wants to make sure Fuller's ideas and designs live on. The original structure was built in 1965. So Gertz says giant well, domes or flies about, eyes go over the openings and generate passive energy. So it can create a weather-tight enclosure that uh, well, can be used to house anything that people might want to put in there. Now, this summer, Gertz Boats will refinish a 50-foot version of the dome, which has been used as a visitor's center. Now, both of those domes will be shipped down to Miami. Finally, on Wednesday, an architectural review board will be here at 1 o'clock and hopefully approve the project. Reporting live with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Marilyn Shera, Eyewitness News.